Hey guys, my name is Chelsea Crockett and this is my life in stick figure form. I hope you enjoy. Yo, hip hop and I'm turning feed. Everybody's outside and we're looking sweet. Saving all the best tricks that are up my sleeves. For the last ones left, you can taste the beat. So it all started off with a mom and a dad. Well, doesn't it always start off this way? My mom's name is Michelle and my dad's name is Brandon. They met when they were in college and they basically kind of went back and forth with each other until they found out that they were in love. And my mom was one year older than my dad, so my dad was a youngster. <laughs> so my mom's mom decided to pop out four kids. I know, crazy, right? Um, that she had three girls and one boy. My mom. She was the youngest, the one who got in most of the trouble and was very messy. My mom's mom was a really hardworking mom considering that my mom's dad died whenever she was only three, so my mom really looked up to her and loved her very much. So my dad was an only child. He had a mom and a dad, but unfortunately his dad decided not to be a part of his life at six months old, and basically I don't really know anything about him. But my grandma, and I love her so much, she died around five years ago, but she was a flight attendant and basically got all the boys. <laughs> and I just remember my dad have really poofy hair, and I thought it was hilarious. So after all the history of my mom and my dad, they decided to get married and have kids. So they had me, my sister, and my brother. My name is Chelsea, my sister's name is Kylie, and my brother's name is Chandler. And we are 15, 14, and 12. So there's not very much of an age difference between us considering that me and my sister kind of fight a lot. So one memory that I remember vividly is when me and my sister took ballet classes together when I was around five and she was around four. And I remember we used to have like little top hats and we would just like dance on stage. I remember us having a recital and her staring at me the whole time. She always denies the situation. And I can honestly say that we were loving, but we were very vicious when we wanted to be. And we used to have contests on who could bite each other's arms the hardest. So another memory I have is whenever my brother used to sit in front of the fire, and this is my horrible drawing of me him dancing, looks like he's smacking his butt, I don't even know. But he basically was like the Shakira in guy form when he was really little. He was really funny. So going up to fifth grade, which was kind of a big grade for me, I basically had a big crush on this guy named Levi who is actually still at my school now and I used to show off at recess and have these competitions with girls because I was a gymnast and I was basically a total tomboy, hated makeup, never liked it. And in fifth grade I kind of went through this really bad phase where I didn't want to talk to my parents. I basically just isolated myself. I don't even really know what happened. At the beginning of sixth grade, my parents kind of went through some issues. It turns out that my dad ended up kind of, you know, just leaving the house for a while and it was kind of a tough time on me and it was definitely one of the things that I'll always remember. But on the bright side, I had a lot of friends and I guess you'd say I was one of the popular girls or whatever you would call it when you're in sixth grade. But it turns out that they weren't the friends that, you know, I should be hanging out with. They were bad influences. I also had good grades and I was in soccer, so that was pretty good. And my sister and I had a really good relationship. One thing that happened to me in seventh grade was I started makeup, which was good. It was kind of a confident spoozer to me because I found what I love to do. But there was this friend in seventh grade that I had that was really controlling of me, and she kind of turned into a bully at the end of the year. And I need this load to bear with me, my shadow now, a taller man, make treetops look to barely stand, if only that was who I was. At the end of seventh grade is where it all changed. I finally stood up for myself and I felt so good and I started gaining more confidence and so in the summer of that year I started my very own YouTube channel, Beautylicious Insider. Learning all those makeup tips I started doing my own tutorials. Eighth grade, I would say, was the best year of my life so far. It was just so amazing because I had great teachers and I had so much fun. And I also really didn't have much homework. For some reason, you don't get much homework in eighth grade where I'm at. And I had a lot of friends. 
My best friend though, Kenzie, I just started getting really close to last year. She is really crazy. We just started coming really close and she loves cows and she's crazy and yeah, I just love her. In eighth grade where I live, we have this formal dance where I think I did make a video about it and I had a boyfriend at the time and I really wasn't comfortable with having a boyfriend. I really didn't know what to do. I I don't know. I just wasn't really great with relationships. It was really hot at the dance. I just didn't really want to dance anyone except with my friends because friends before boyfriends, eh? So I think after that whole event, my boyfriend and I just really were, you know, feeling it. We decided we weren't right for each other and we just broke up. And then Basically after that, I was kicking it on YouTube. I had 15,000 subscribers, I was living life, and I just loved it so much. So in kind of the middle of 8th grade, I got this invitation from Brendan on Beauty Motive, and I entered the Knicks Face Awards, and I ended up getting top 6, which is pretty crazy to me, at only 14, and I flew out to LA with some of the top beauty gurus on YouTube, in my opinion, and we competed in the NYX Face Awards. And it was at IMATS, I was on stage, and we were all finalists, and I was up there crying because my good friend here on YouTube, Karis, she won, and she definitely deserves it. She's so creative, and I just love her so much. After the Next Face Awards, my YouTube channel just started blossoming and I got so many more insiders and I was now in ninth grade, which is the grade I'm in now. On the first day of high school, it was really eye-opening and really scary for me. I was so nervous for it. I was like picking out my outfit three weeks before and I was really intimidated by all the tall people and all the people who, you know, just kind of look scary to me. But I did have my one friend, Kenzie, and we basically have gone through everything together. Is this a game or is it real? And I won't underestimate the way I feel and I wish that I... Just this past year, I really just started getting more involved in my church and I just loved helping out and going to the Wednesday nights and just going with my friends, having fun and praising Jesus as loud as we can. And I also really developed the strive to want to go to church all the time. But then I really didn't have a relationship with God. High school pressures came for myself and my friends. The friends that I had in middle school, some of them were really good friends up until this day, but some of them fell through the cracks with alcohol and drugs and just not really good influences. So I basically separated myself from all of the bad decisions that they wanted to make. And it became a lot easier for me to say no. And I became very aware of all the things that came with high school. Eyes open mind, I'm basking in the so a really life-changing event that I will never forget ever happened at a church event called D now and I went to it all the way from sixth grade but I just started grasping everything that all of my leaders started to say and we all went in one room and Bailey just kind of poured herself out and it made all of us pour ourselves out as in like the bad decisions and everything that we've done so after a few hours of praying literally a few hours <laughs> we were so happy with each other and we were so on fire that we ran through the church and we saw a janitor or something and he really caught our attention and we didn't know it was a janitor at first. We just thought it was some creep coming through the church and we like were scared because it was like 3 a.m. and we were in the middle of our church and we thought it was someone else but I don't even know what was going through our minds at that time. <laughs> So Kenzie and I found a really good friend this past year and a half or so, and her name is Emma, and she's just so nice, so pretty. She's She goes to a different school, but she also went to our church, and I love her, and honestly, she makes me jealous every single time I look at her because she's just gorgeous. We call ourselves the Three Musketeers, the trio, I don't even know, but Emma loves turtles, which kind of fits in with us. <laughs> As of now, in April of 2013, my family's doing great, I'm doing great, we're happy, we're healthy, and I just have great friends, great relationships, and I can't wait for the future.
I just want to thank you guys so much for your continued support and just being with me from the start. You guys are the reason that I am doing this video and I just honestly can't thank you guys enough because without you guys I wouldn't have as much confidence as I would and I just love you guys so thank you. So I really hope you guys enjoyed and learned some more about me and if you did make sure to thumbs up this video and check out my website. You can click on this video, it was my last April favorites video where I share some products that have worked dramatically on my face and everywhere else. I love you guys and I can't wait to see you in my next video.